Hey there and welcome. Figured I'd give a quick review of the Pelican 1637 case. Uh, this case is fairly new to me. I've had it about two months and I've been using it for uh, my job of a professional real estate photographer. Uh, so I wasn't really sure how big this case was going to be when I got it, but it really has worked out as far as uh, being the correct size for what I need. Um, and sort of a reference point, this is a uh, little box that you can get at Costco, and uh, it's about the same height as the Pelican case, but the Pelican case is uh, much more versatile, and uh, in my opinion, worth the money. Okay, so inside here, we have the uh, five latches that keep things closed. Uh, you also get the padded dividers. Um, this case is available without them, but for me, um, I needed the dividers for my equipment. Uh, and I'm glad I got them, as they've worked out really nice. Uh, it's got pull handles to pick up the divider uh, level, and basically it's a two-story um, two compartment. Uh, the padding's really nice. It's high quality. It's Velcro. Um, I carry two tripods, uh, two, uh, well, one speed light and then one larger um, light for photography. I also keep the Osmo that I'm using now inside the bottom portion of the case. And then when I go on extended photo shoots and need to use my drone, I keep my iPad uh, basically right there. Um, up top, I've got two camera bodies, um, multiple lenses, all the charging, uh, pretty much everything, and there's quite a bit of space for more odds and ends. Um, I also picked up some moisture eaters, as I feel like that's a uh, reasonable thing to have inside the case, especially for the climate that I live in. It's uh, pretty tropical and humid, so that helps out a lot. Um, one thing I didn't know about this case was, uh, which is good, it fit on our small commuter plane that we have. Um, right now I'm living on the big island of Hawaii, and we have a little commuter plane that goes in our island, and Basically, it just barely cleared the um, height restriction, and I don't know if they have a width restriction either, but this one worked out fine for that. Um, and it's been great. It's got wheels on the bottom of the case, um, pull-out handle. It's a uh, pretty quality, quality setup, I would say. And although it is very expensive, uh, especially compared to, you know, you can get a box for... Ten fifteen dollars. Uh, looking at spending four hundred four hundred fifty dollars for something like this is a lot of money to uh, digest. But I would say well worth it if you want to protect your equipment and also more so than that, it's a uh, ease of shooting on location. Uh, when I go to someone's house and it's unfamiliar, I want to know that I have all my stuff with me, all my backups. Um, also, it's easy to pack everything back up and see if I've forgotten something. If you're throwing everything into a box, just a, a tub of sorts, uh, it's easy to forget something. And um, if you're putting things back into a compartment, like this case or uh, any other case with compartments really, uh, at least you can see what's there and what might be missing. So that helps you keep track of everything. Um, so I'd say well worth the, well worth the investment. Um, this case is, I guess, their air lineup, which comparatively to, oops, sorry, comparatively to the only other Pelican case that I own, which is a 1200 series that I was using for a single camera body, um, the plastic's thinner. And it's not the same material. But that being said, it still seems plenty tough. Uh, you can stand on it easily without deforming the plastic. 
and it's nice to have something that's uh, fairly fairly lightweight with my equipment loaded into the container um, as it is it's about 48 pounds um, dry I think it's under 20 so uh, that's nice it looks like this when you have the handle pulled up um, handles pretty robust it looks like it could be replaced if you need to it's stainless steel screws uh, the wheels are great they ride over concrete and everything else really well um, and I guess this has a lifetime warranty so that's always good as well and made in the USA which is fantastic so um, all good things I guess the only downside is that they are um, costly but you really do get what you pay for on this one as far as I can tell anyways um, hope that helped a little bit for anyone considering one of these cases uh, for photography or any other type of situation that might be uh, useful Anyways, thanks for watching, and have a good day. Bye.